Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Ashoka, the emperor who gave up war. Question number 1. Name the place where Ashoka's pillar is located. Option A. Salarpur. Option B. Sikral. Option C. Lamhi. Option D. Sarnath. The correct answer is Option D. Sarnath. Ashoka was a great ruler and on his instructions inscriptions were carved on pillars. The stone pillar has carvings which tell us this pillar was built by Ashoka. Question number 2. How many lions are there on the national emblem of India? Option A. 4. Option B. 5. Option C. 2. Option D. 3. The correct answer is Option A. 4. Our national emblem has been taken from Ashoka's pillar at Sarnath. Ashoka's pillar bears four Asiatic lions sitting back to back, which have been carved out from one single stone, but only three are visible. Question number 3. Name the capital of Ashoka's empire. Option A. Sarinath. Option B. Hastinapur. Option C. Patliputra. Option D. Bodh Gaya. The correct answer is Option C. Patliputra. Areas around Patliputra were under the direct control of the emperor, which confirms it was the capital city in Ashoka's reign. Question number 4. Chaitya is a Option A. A sacred bird. Option B. A sacred animal. Option C. A sacred place. Option D. A sacred thing. The correct answer is Option C. A sacred place. Chaitya was an assembly hall that contained a stoop. Stoop at Sachi is the example where it is said Lord Buddha's ashes are stored and is an important holy place for Buddhists. Question number 5. What do you mean by statecraft? Option A. An art of making things in particular state. Option B. An art of making pottery. Option C. An art of running in provincial government or empire. Option D. An art of hunting in states. The correct answer is. Option C. An art of running in provincial government or empire. Statecraft is an art or skill of conducting government affairs and since government energy runs from center to the state level. So it is a craft of governing the state. Question number 6. The figures on the pillar top of Sarnath pillar are of. Option A. Lion. Option B. Horse. Option C. Bull. Option D. Elephant. The correct answer is Option A. Lion. The pillar at Sarnath has four Asiatic lions carved out from one single stone which we can see in our emblem. Question number 7. Greek king of West Asia in the 4th century. Option A. Seleucus Nicholas. Option B. Seleu Nicholas. Option C. Seleu Nicator. Option D. Seleucus Nicator. The correct answer is Option D. Seleucus Nicator. It was Seleucus Nicator who sent Megasthenes as his ambassador to the court of Chandragupta. Question number 8. A state of a vast empire is known as Option A. Province. Option B. District. Option C. Village. Option D. Capital. The correct answer is Option A. Province. When the empire is very large it is divided into smaller divisions called provinces for the convenience of administration. Question number 9. 
The gateway to the northwest was option A. Ujjain. Option B. Part Liputra. Option C. Taxila. Option D. Kalsi. The correct answer is option C. Taxila. Taxila was the provincial capital and also gateway to the northwest and central Asia during Ashoka's reign. Question number 10. New name of part Liputra. Option A. Jahanabad. Option B. Indraprastha. Option C. Paknapura. Option D. Patna. The correct answer is Option D. Patna. Patna's geographical location is the same as that of Pataliputra, one of the oldest cities. Question number 11. Mauryan pillar with a bull carved out and has now been placed in Rashtrapati Bhavan was found at Option A. Kure. Option B. Rampurva. Option C. Sakrapura. Option D. Badhya. The correct answer is Option B. Rampurva. The Rampurva bull which is now placed in Rashtrapati Bhavan was once a part of Mauryan pillar at Rampurva, Bihar. Question number 12. South India was important for its Option A. Gold and precious stones. Option B. Beans. Option C. Millets. Option D. Cereals. The correct answer is Option A. Gold and precious stones. Gold and precious stones were collected as taxes and tribute in South India. Question number 13. Ashoka's religion after Kalinga War. Option A. Jainism. Option B. Buddhism. Option C. Muslim. Option D. Zoroastrian. The correct answer is Option B. Buddhism. The horrifying sight of the war moved Ashoka. The violence and bloodshed were the aftermaths of the war which made him decide to give up war and follow the principles of Buddhism. In this direction, he built Buddhist monasteries and stupas. Question number 14. Language of Ashokan inscriptions was Option A. Urdu. Option B. Pali. Option C. Prakrit. Option D. Sanskrit. The correct answer is Option C. Prakrit. Ashoka was the first ruler who tried to take his message to the people through inscriptions, which means these inscriptions were meant for common people. So they were written in Prakrit, which was spoken by common people, and in Brahmi script. Question number 15. What is Arthashastra? Option A. Officials. Option B. Place. Option C. Palace. Option D. Book. The correct answer is. Option D. Book. Arthashastra is a famous text written by Chanakya on statecraft. Chanakya was the teacher and guardian of Chandragupta Maurya. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonder Slate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.